Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about whatever I feel like talking about because it's my channel and not yours. I never do this, but I, I feel like I want to uh, do a little movie review, uh, as it were. This is the series Bridgerton on Netflix. And I know it's the Devil's Playgrounds, but I'm watching it anyway. You know, I don't watch TV, but I do watch some things. And what I do want to applaud is Miss Shonda Rhimes in her storytelling, but also in the way that she brought sex back in a, in a more innocent way. Now, I have to admit, towards the end of the series here, she did get, we did get a little bit of um, more of a sexual view, but in the beginning, so what she did was she gave us a warm-up. She gave us some foreplay. She gave us a, a few episodes where there was a, there was a look, there was a touch, there was a, a thought of a kiss, which progressed then to a kiss, and then maybe a deeper kiss. And yes, now at the end, we are in full-fledged marriage and sex, but what she did was portray a courtship, a relationship, and a marriage. And TV just doesn't do that anymore. They don't give you a courtship and a marriage. They give you penetration in the first three minutes of the show. And I don't like that. I'm not saying we can go back. You know, we have to be progressive. We can't go back to the 1920s, you know. I get that. But what I do get is the way that she managed the series to progress in such a natural way that you know, if my grandchildren have to grow up in this world, I want them to see it as a natural, natural progression. A blush, a touch. You hold your hands. You've got butterflies in your stomach. There's a touch. There's a kiss. Not full on just porn. You know, I'm tired of seeing porn in the, in the media. It's just, it's getting old. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to see that all the time. It's the mystery. You know, it's the old Bogart stuff. It's the old, old timers. So I, I applaud her for taking what the values that were old and making them new in a way that is very palatable and very nice. You know, I don't mind my grandchildren watching this whole series. They're seeing penetration daily on the television. Even in cartoons, the anime they watch, it's just so polluted, so corrupted. I'm glad to see someone tell a story, give us a little foreplay, and still come out with a little bit of morals that that somebody could take away with. You know, you don't have to be a hoe on your first date. You don't have to be perfectly chaste. But there is a progression to a relationship that leads to a lasting marriage and life for people. You know, nobody wants nobody wants to. Um, sorry about the motorcycle going away. You know, no, nobody wants to be with somebody easy. But you know, times have changed, and I, I think I applaud Miss Shonda for coming up with the world and portraying this in such a great way. Thank you to Miss Shonda Rhimes.